Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where today we've got another Football Manager 2017 experiment for you. Today we're going to take a look at Gilfi Sigurdsson at Everton. Now today there has been a £40 million bid with £5 million pounds worth of add-ons rejected by Swansea who are holding out for a £50 million pound bid from Everton. Uh, it's pretty much expected that Everton will eventually meet that asking price from Swansea uh, and Gilfie Sigurdsson, he's a fantastic attacking threat, a really good playmaking option and I think he'll do really well in the Everton side. So today we're going to run this experiment, we're going to see how he gets on. Everton are currently um, predicted to finish 7th in the league under Ronald Koeman. They've got a few players that have, they've brought in. They've got Wayne Rooney back in the team, uh, who's been brought in from Manchester United. They've got Davy Clarsen. They've got all of the recent signings, uh, which I've downloaded from the Susie Sort It Outside database update. I'll leave a link in the description to that down below. Uh, we're also going to run things through the 17-18 season, as we've done in our previous other experiments. Uh, and we're just going to see, really, what kind of effect Gilfie Sigurdsson will have on the team, how will he perform at Goodison Park, and will they better their media prediction of 7th? So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to run a year into the future, first of all, and we're going to see how Everton perform in the Premier League. Well, then we're back a year into the future and it is already apparent that Ronald Koeman is no longer the manager of Everton and it looks like Marcelo Bielsa is the manager of Everton and he's got an insecure job. So let's go in and have a look how they've got on. Now, they've finished down in 19th in the Premier League and they've been relegated to the Championship. Now, I didn't expect that this season at all from Everton. With the players they had, I thought they'd do a hell of a lot better than that. That is a very, very concerning uh, season that Everton have had. Let's go and have a look where it all went wrong, uh, starting with the manager. So we've got Ronald Kerman, who was in the job for a year and 144 days, was sacked on the 5th of November uh, after 509 days in charge. John April then took over as the caretaker manager before Marcelo Bielsa took over on the 17th of November, but unfortunately wasn't able to save them. And to be honest, he's probably got them relegated as well. Um, let's have a look. This experiment is obviously about Gilfie Sigurdsson. And as we can see here, he's played 37 games, scored four, three assists, a 6.76 average rating, uh, 6.94 overall in the last five games. Let's have a look at his stats. As we can see there, they're roughly about the same possible slight improvement in one or two. And it's difficult to tell really uh, with such small margins. So here we go into the stats and we'll keep it just domestically. And we can see here that in the 38 games that he played, they won just six of those. He had 56 shots at goal, 16 of which were on target at 29%, 40 off target. He had 811 minutes on the pitch per goal, one penalty taken, one penalty scored. He had 0.44 shots on target per 90 minutes and 1.22 dribbles made per 90 minutes of 1,247 passes, 17 of which were key. He succeeded with 762 passes, a 61 pass completion ratio with 485 of those were failed. He had a 1,081 minutes on the pitch per assist. He crossed 142 times, completing 49 of them. Passes completed of 21.14 per 90 minutes with zero fouls against. Regarding his tackling, he made 47 tackles uh, during the games, he completed 25, winning them with 53% of those, losing 22 with one key tackle in amongst them. 0.69 tackles won per game, 0.86 fouls per game. Now, his average rating was 6.76. His best was 6.77 with the worst at 6.76. So he's pretty, pretty regular and consistent with his ratings, but they weren't that great, to be honest with you. You're expecting a player of that kind of ability to play better than that. Uh, average distance covered of 9.5 kilometers per 90 minutes, 341 kilometers completed overall. Uh, obviously, now that Everton have been relegated to the championship, we're going to go a year into the future and we're going to see if they can get back into the Premier League with the likes of Gilfie Sigurdsson in the team. Uh, let's have a look at the transfer history, see if they've made any transfers. And we can see going out, there's a lot of loan players going out. Shani Tarasaj has gone to Chelsea on loan. Mohamed Besic has gone to Fiorentina for 8.25 mil with Brendan Galloway moving to Stoke for 1.3 million. Uh, a couple of loans coming in. They've made a couple of signings of Isma Lopez and Benjamin Hivd, who's come in from AGF. And also Isma Lopez has come in. 
I mean, they're, they're okay, but they're nothing special. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go another year into the future and see if this Everton squad, which, let's be honest, should not have been relegated in the first place with the players they've got. You know, David Clarsen, who's only played one game. That is staggering. He's one of the best attacking midfielders on the game. Wayne Rooney's played 17 games, scoring five. Not sure what's happened here, um, but they're not playing the kind of players you'd expect them to be playing here. Um, hopefully this can resolve itself next season. Uh, we're going to go a year into the future, though, and we're going to find out. So join us back here at the end of May 2019. Well, then another year into the future we go, and let's go and have a look and see how Hever Everton have fared in the Skybet Championship. Now, they finished second. Um, let's, uh, let's get this back to... Press the wrong bloody thing. Let's get this back to the league table. So they finished second behind Brighton. Only on goal difference, though. Both uh, getting 83 points. Wolves are up there, as well as Sunderland. Barnsley perform quite well then. Fulham go up via the playoffs. So Everton are back in the Premier League. Let's go in and have a look at how Gilfie Sigurdsson has performed. Now, Gilfie Sigurdsson looks to have moved on uh, in the team. Sandro and Diogo Jota, who's coming on loan, has done really well for Everton. Let's have a look at the transfer history. And it looks like out the door goes Gilfie Sigurdsson to AC Milan. For just £12.75 million. Pounds. Uh, he's now valued at 16.75. He's had 11 sub-appearances for AC Milan. Hasn't broken into that first team. And hasn't really performed either. Now I was kind of expecting this experiment to be pretty much um, a good positive thing here for um, Gilfie Sigurdsson. But it just hasn't worked out for him. And Everton on the whole really. They've had players that have gone out. Morgan Schneiderlin's gone to Man City. They've had a real outflux of players. Ross Barkley's to Southampton for 13.5 mil. Um, obviously, Michael Keane has gone out to Tottenham for 16.75, potentially rising to 27. There's a lot of players outgoing there for um, Everton. That's a good bit of business there as well by Brighton, bringing in Ashley Williams. Uh, they're looking to rebuild their squad. They are back in the Premier League now, though, and they can look to rebuild again. It looks like uh, Marcelo Bielsa is still the manager. Uh, <clears throat> Seamus Coleman is now the captain. Mark Alonso has been brought in to Everton also, which is a good, really good signing for them. But yeah, Gilfie Sigurdsson didn't really have much of a successful spell here at Everton. Uh, he played a season in the Premier League, which saw them get relegated before being sold off to AC Milan. Hopefully that in the real life, he'll, if he does move to Everton, that is, he's currently still a Swansea player. He can have a real impact. I think Everton are going to do a hell of a lot better than football manager has predicted. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this experiment. Remember to check back on the channel, various points during the week. There's going to be more experiments that are going to go up there. Uh, if you like uh, football Manager Let's Play series, do check out my Stobu Caress save, which is pretty much into its final season now. We've just played episode 17 of season 4. We might run another season. We were beaten in the Champions League final by Arsenal in episode 16. Do check that out. There's some really good thrills and spills along the way. Uh, but for today, guys, we are now out of time. That is the end of the experiment, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.